Hi everyone, this is Ankita. I'm your digital transformation coach. And moving forward, let me show you how you can actually use um, this Excel online to work. So here we are going to put some numbers since it's a quarterly target. Let's make some changes uh, here. Let's rename this sheet as plan. Let's name it as the month one target. Month two target. And month three target. And you see that these tabs have been created here. Uh, for the plan, we could be making some small objectives. So let's put the objective ID and here description. Objective ownership and we have made the changes. Now let's see for some of the features or uh, we want to make some very specific work with this data. We want to create some kind of pivot table and other features we want which are not visible here to me. So although pivot table is visible but there could be some additional features which I need to access through the desktop application. Similar to what we saw earlier, we open it in Excel. And there goes Excel Office 365, which is a desktop installed application. And this file is has opened exactly the same as expected in the desktop application. On the top, you can see that last saved is being shown here. Now I have made some changes here. And you can see that it is again saved to the SharePoint similar to what we saw for PowerPoint. And now when I close this, it would get saved. And this sheet would get updated. So you can see the small text change that I made is visible here. And it is most updated. And that is how it is. So you can use Excel online features as it is in this file if you would uh, if that is sufficient for you to work on or if you would need some additional features you can simply seamlessly open it into the install desktop application. That is all for this video. I hope you like this video. Do share it with your co-workers, subscribe to the channel, continue coming back to the channel for more such updates and do share your feedback in the comment section. Thank you.